tis the season for amazing Halloween decorations and soon to be Christmas decorations here at Fort Wilderness Campgrounds. And they're celebrating 50th anniversary. That's right, 50 years of magic here. And so it is extra special. Wait till you see what we have in store for you. There's people who've been coming here for 25, 30 years as a tradition and decorating every single year, spending tens of thousands of dollars for something that is a very special family tradition. We'll introduce you to them. We're gonna see the cabins for the first time and there is tons more. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've never been in here. They look really cool. Welcome to our cabin. It looks amazing. They have, I guess, what is a barbecue? Ashton, is it a barbecue? I believe so. Okay, looks like you got a barbecue. You can roast some marshmallows. Come on out. I love that you can actually sit outside and enjoy a meal with your friends, family. You have the beautiful wilderness. It's dead silent here. You hear anybody? I don't hear it. I have crickets. You hear the crickets? Oh my goodness, this is, like you really feel like you're in a cabin in the woods and not in Florida. Like we are in some cabin somewhere else. Oh my goodness, this is huge. You have the refrigerator, you can cook. And I love the decor from the lamps with of course the etchings of the bears to the incredible painting that obviously pays homage to Walt's favorite trains and more. Campground Railroad Fort Wilderness. I wonder if they used to have one from the Walt Disney Imagineering Collection. Can I live here? Is that an option? I don't think so, it's really expensive. And even everything looks expensive from the leather ottoman, the obviously fancy flat screen, the incredible new uh, embellishments that I guess have uh, been redone over this past uh, year or two to fix up the cabins. It's amazing. I would live here if there's an option. Who would move in with me? I usually wouldn't invite you into my bathroom, but this one's amazing. Oh my goodness, come on in. Okay, how cool are these? Even the lampshades and of course the incredible woodwork. I mean, you really can feel like you're in a luxury cabin, not just any old cabin. I gotta say, amazing. Now wait till you see the bedroom. You can fit four people sleeping in here, two there, two there, but also there's a sofa bed outside. It actually fits six people total in this whole place. So cool. First of all, I've always wanted to be in a bunk bed. I've never gotten to experience that. Um, I'm sure it's meant for kids, but I'm like, no, it's meant for me. And this is no joke, the comfiest bed I've ever, in Disney property sat on it like I don't know what they did to it if it's some sort of fancy for wilderness particular mattress but it's amazing if you're one of those people like me who really cares about like a really good mattress that's soft and you feel like you're going into a pillow this is the one for you I've been to the Grand Floridian I've been to the Polynesian Fort Wilderness beats them all also always been that person who wants a bunk bed and I told Ash on his right here <laughs> that I would attempt to climb in. <laughs> I'm just in a skirt. I'm doing this going to go really bad. Okay, this is definitely meant for children. I made it. I made it. And I have room to spare. I did it. This is awesome. Actually, this is really comfy. This is shockingly comfy. It's a little harder of a mattress than that one. Um, so whoever sleeps here gets the worst bed. But that's cool. So, Ashton, when you sleep there, I can wave at you. I can be like, Ashlyn, hey, and throw stuff down at you. <laughs> Ashlyn, I'm probably going to stay in that one. Yeah. You get a big closet as well. We already moved in, as you can see. It feels way bigger than it looks from the outside. From the outside, they look like cubes. No, this is awesome. I would, I mean, this is like our house. This is amazing. Again, I love all the detail, the architecture. Um, you really feel like you are in the woods in a cabin. And this is also great for um, not just Halloween, but the Christmas holiday season. <gasps> I'm so excited. Wait till you see what we have in store. It's almost Halloween, but we Christmas decorated. That's right, because November 1st, everything in Disney becomes Christmas. So we made our own little makeshift and people come in and they decorate amazing Christmas decor on the inside of their cabins, as well as the outside. We're getting it started, we're getting it started. When in doubt, decorate your tree with ears or face masks, popcorn buckets. We, we really got creative. Well, this is my first time driving a golf <laughs> cart. Oh my goodness. Okay, so far so good. Oh, it's the baby and then I think it's the dad. Just be very careful because I could fly out any moment. <laughs> 
So it is totally common for people to bring full on Mack trucks to contain all these incredible giant displays, uh, thousands and thousands of lights, and the electric power it takes to run all this, also amazing. Can't wait to hear about it from some of the people that have been coming here for decades. Okay, we're getting the party started here at Fort Wilderness Campground with all the cool decor. And I think um, the Grim Reaper, Angel of Death, I'm pretty sure he's ready to welcome us to a party I don't know if I want to go to. Theme old, feed me. He's, he's, he's a biter. Sarah, it's a, it's a campfire sing-along. I thought it was over with. <gasps> oh, he's yeah. a little undead, I don't know. I know, they look a little <laughs> dead tired. It's all right. Yeah, ask for a request. <laughs> Chip and Dale is back from the dead. <laughs> and it is a party here. It's one of my favorite displays. But Chip and Dale kind of look a little scared. I mean, check out those faces. They look a little, don't worry, these are very friendly spirits. We got Aunt Karen with the flip phone over here. And we got the baby spirit. I mean, looking like she's having a blast. The doggies, too. This is amazing. Thank you, guys. You did a great job with your display. You did fabulous. Cast members really are the best, guys. But I guess Disney really works them to the bone. Get it? Of course, any campfire sing-along would not be the same without, of course, the food truck. What's your name? Where are you from? Jennifer Rick. From Jennifer. Palm Beach Gardens. Florida. Oh my goodness. Have you been coming and doing this often? Because you look like a pro at this. Oh. Uh, this is year number nine for us coming to Fort Wilderness. Wow. <gasps> Amazing. So, now, yeah. tell us a little bit about your uh, incredible display. What was the um, the inspiration behind you? Um, we are big Pirates of the Caribbean fans. Oh, um, must This too. was our first. This is our first year doing this theme. We've oh, so. We've done other themes. What what was your theme last year? Um, last year we did the wedding, the bride and groom. And the year before that we did the dead and breakfast day. We won two years ago. You the did? Dead and we took second place. It is a tradition. We have made friendships here. It is just awesome. And it, my daughter's grown up with people here. I love that. And I heard you could find people through Facebook. Is that correct? Or is that how you guys correct. connect? Yep. What's it called? It's the um, Halloween Facebook group. You'll get, you'll get sucked in. Don't go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, there's a T-Rex! Sarah, there's a T-Rex! Oh no, oh no, run! Run for your life! Run for your life! Oh my goodness, this is my favorite we've seen. Um, absolutely amazing. What's your name? Where are you from? David and my wife, Shauna. Oh my God. We're, we're up by Panama City. Oh, how amazing! Been here for six or seven years now. Do you have a background in creating stuff? Because this looks really complicated. She's a nurse and I'm in law enforcement. Well, God bless you both for your service. Um, yes, thank you so much. I can create it as long as she can design it. Do you have any plans for what's next year already? Well, there's some, some things in the works for the raptor cage. Oh, I love the details. You thought of even like the Barbasol, the eggs, and of course the dock I recognize from the movie. Yeah, and, and the sign does spin. That's spin, right, the right? sign spins. And eventually I'll have to, to create something that makes it just sit there. And spin. Guys, if you remember from the movie, things go wrong. It spins. And it spins and it goes through. And you direction. end up like that. You see the tag. What is your name? Robert. Robert and where are you from? Come in Georgia. Okay, I know you come here every year. I look forward to your display in particular. How do you come up with what you're going to dress them as every year? Uh, it takes us about two to three years to collect everything. What's your favorite that you've dressed them as in the past? Uh, I like Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. We've done it twice. Uh, we're well, waiting on the new movies so we can all. add more stuff to it. And so but all of them are good. We've done Toy Story, oh, yeah. Winnie the Pooh, all, you know, just a bunch of them. The first year we had 10 of them, they were Easter bunnies. It was your first time coming? About six or seven years ago. Really? Well, you become like our favorite thing. Um, and we, we look forward to finding you guys every year here and what you're going to do. Another awesome epic decoration we just found is brutal moments in Disney history. Long live the king. Poor Mufasa. Oh, but I don't know why the good dinosaurs up there. I like that movie. Is there a moment in Disney movie history that just eats at you or, oh, brutal moment in your book? I don't know if you realize that Fort Wilderness used to have its own railroad. Well, hello oh. there. Have you heard about the Fort Wilderness Railroad line? From 1973 to 1980, the Fort Wilderness Railroad operated at this very campground. Do you feel lucky? Special tradition to keep an eye out for here at Fort Wilderness is also the chalk that people leave out for you to write 
little mementos to them if you love what they did, messages and more. Check this out. LBV TV loves you. Food trucks actually look incredible. Like bizarre unique foods I would have never tried like pizza in the cone, the brains cupcakes where you make your own cupcake also. Uh, again, so many cool trucks. Also, it looks like it's a party behind me. We found the Headless Horseman. You know, he roams Fort Wilderness. Can't wait to show you all the Christmas decor in just a few weeks. That's right, they're already gearing up for Christmas here. So make sure to subscribe for never a dull moment in the most magical place on earth here with LVV TV and bibbidi bop that like button. And I always say, like what Mickey says, see you real soon.